everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to disney vlog number two today we have had a much slower start to the day it is 11 o'clock currently we've just decided we're having like a morning in the villa because we're heading to epcot this afternoon and we're gonna stay there all day and then stay for the fireworks tonight so we decided that we're gonna have a little bit of a slower morning have a lie in and just like sunbathe because when we got up it was so super sunny although it has actually really clouded over now the thing with florida weather if you've been here before is that often the day starts off so hot so sunny and then in the afternoon there'll be a thunderstorm because it's too hot and then it'll brighten up again after that so the middle of the day often is really rainy which is when we've decided we're going to the park although the good thing about Epcot is a lot of it is inside like that's probably the park with the most indoor stuff which is perfect so this is my park outfit for today I really really like it my hair is super frizzy just because I had a shower this morning and washed it and I didn't do anything to it just because I don't see any point like it just frizzes up in the heat anyway so we've got Florida hair on the next level and then my top is from Primark and these shorts are from Boohoo I will leave a link to the shorts down below because I get a lot of questions about that obviously I can't link the top because it's from Primark but pretty sure most places do tops similar to this it's just a white crop top so yeah yeah, ready for the day ahead. I'm so excited to go out to the park. I would go now. My family are like, oh, let's wait. I'm like an eager beaver. We have just arrived into airport. We're about to park the car. I claimed shotgun this drive. We've been alternating who's sat in the front because obviously, I w usually it would be my mum, but now we're all taller than my mum, so it actually makes more sense for her to be in the back. So Tom's here, we've got Tom, we've got Harry, can't really see, and then my mum. And the first thing we're actually doing once we get there is heading to meet a girl called Becca who has been in the vlogs, I think, probably like five or six times. I met her the last time I was here. I came on a family holiday in 2016 and we bumped into her as a viewer and she like came over and we took pictures together and then obviously because we met in such a unique place we kept in touch and we kept talking and then since then I've seen her like six or seven times in really random places she just so happens to be at Epcot again today she's actually in Florida working over the summer at Disney World but she just so happens to be in Epcot so I'm gonna go meet her because that's so cool that like literally three years on I'm meeting her again. We have arrived at Epcot. <laughs> are you excited about this park? I really am. <laughs> Which really, ride really are you am. looking forward to? Do you actually really know what's here? No, I don't know. I don't know what's at any of the parks. I'm just like letting you up. Tom's going into it blind in pretty much every park. He doesn't really have a clue. But sometimes that's a good thing. We're at high risk of losing the males today because they have worn nothing but black and grey. No, Tom was good yesterday. Tom had bright purple on yesterday, yeah. So we just met Becca. I actually completely forgot to vlog with her because I was so wrapped up in the conversation, but I'll insert the photos on screen. They're super, super cute. She was so lovely. We're now heading on to Test Track, which is where we met her. We just met her outside of Test Track, had a chat, and now we're about to get our fast passes and ride Test Track, which is my favorite ride in Epcot, I think. Tom's in his element here. I'm not really a fan of Chevrolet. He's not a fan of Chevrolet. God, Tom, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, it's the Man United Oh, true. Are you excited? Do you like do you like test track? Yeah. Remember the first time I went on this when I was like seven or eight, it was like really scary. To be honest, it is still quite quite scary. We are car designing in test track currently. The boys have taken over because apparently I'm incompetent. in Club Cool and we are about to try different flavours of drink from all around the world so I guess this is in like conjunction with the World Showcase there's different drinks from different countries and I know that the Beverly one is meant to be disgusting but we've got to try it because where are we from Tom? Beverly. Beverly. I have the South African Bebo drink or Bebo and it's so good it's strawberry and lime. Mm. Why is my makeup under my eyes? Harry we've got to find the Beverly drink we need to find Beverly. Oh yeah does that happen? So in a strange turn of events there's three people in here vlogging like proper set up vlogs as well not like vlogging on their phone like vlogging with the g7x and i'm like why are there so many vloggers in epcot today but i'm still looking for the beverly drink i really want to give it a review but yeah i don't know can you see them behind me i kind of want to go and talk i'm also really shy so weird isn't it i definitely recommend a quick stop in here this is the cool stop i think it's called and it is flavors from around the world this is a strawberry acai with lemonade but it has got real strawberries in it and the reason i love these is because on the back it says disney parks so a little bit different than your average stops we're now heading on Ooh, we've 
we've already done Avatar though, so it's gonna be a bit of a downgrade. We're riding Nemo for old time's sake. This is one of Tom and I's favorite Disney films to watch together. We have watched Finding Dory so many times. So in we go. Nemo. You're like totally stopped. Totally awesome, dude. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Here's what you do. Is that Hello, Bruce? I don't think that's Bruce. Oh, that's Bruce. That's <laughs> Nemo. We need to find Dory. Let's go on a hunt. Finding Dory. Have you found it yet? Have you found it yet? That's not Dory. Yeah, Dory. That's not Dory, that's an imposter. No, it's Dory. It's Dory. It's totally awesome, dude. Why is it called Crush? No, why is it called Crush? Oh, I thought you were going to say your goal is line. No. <laughs> Tom's not saying it now. He's saying, I've got a crush on you. Oh, gag. I think we should get one. No, that's Little Crush. I don't know what his name is. We're getting Lottie a little dog tag. So, right, whoa, something crazy just happened. You can't see me. What's wrong with my camera? Tom and I were queuing up to get an ice cream. So I've got myself a little Olaf bar. And the woman was like, oh, it's a magical moment. And we were like, we don't know what that means. It means they're free. We just got these for free. <laughs> We are outside Mission Spain. We've got the green route, we've got the orange route. I have decided that I'm doing neither because I get so motion sick. I've done the green route before and I'm fine on the green route. I could go on it, I just don't really want to. I just think that it leaves me feeling really dizzy for like the rest of the day and I'd just really rather not feel like that. However, the boys have all gone on the orange route and Harry and Tom have never ridden this ride before. My dad's been on the orange route before, hasn't he? Did he just ride it by himself? Yeah. Well, Harry and Tom, I think that they're, they're not gonna know what they're in for. It's like really, really intense motion simulator. And um, yeah, we're sitting out. Oh, I like your ears. Thank you. Possibly my favorite bit of Disney World. We are now on the World Showcase. We are starting in Mexico and working our way around the globe. Gonna be eating, gonna be drinking, gonna be riding the ride. And I was just saying to Tom, the last time I was here, I remember really vividly like texting him because we just started like, we just met basically the last time I came to Florida. He was obviously back in England. Oh my God, the air conditioning. But they have kind of turned Mexico now into like a little bit of, um, oh Harry, what's the name of the film? The Day of the Dead film, I forgot the name of it. I love Mexico, it's so like, Do you know what this oh, I just love it. Look at this, all of the stalls are so cute and quaint, it's meant to be very, very Mexican, obviously we're in Mexico. Mm. ride the frozen ever after ride which wasn't open the last time we came there's a lot of new well, rides here actually we're not in florida i mean we are in florida we're not in norway yeah. they've turned norway into frozen themed which is on good with me i love frozen frozen ever after time and the wait time is only actually 55 minutes which is not too long although we're fast passing it China has some such cool things in the shop. You could honestly spend a whole afternoon in here. We're currently looking at how to remedy your whole body depending on where you touch on your ear, which I don't know if that is true. Fix everything. Here, just pat your ear if you've got tummy ache. Are you okay, Dad? So this is meant to be St. Mark's Basilica in Venice and I actually have already been here this summer and when I was in Venice I was saying to Eleanor oh I'll be going back to Venice when I'm in Epcot and I, I think it's quite a confusing idea if you haven't been because it's so strange because it looks so real like it looks exactly the same but a miniature version but a small version yeah well, it is bigger than that but it does look pretty much on par the detail in each country in Epcot is just incredible I think this is maybe meant to be a mini Trevi Trevi fountain I still don't know how you say that we have got a funnel cake so the mat we're sharing this we've got Tom we've got just plain sugar you could also get cookies and cream chocolate or vanilla yeah, <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just taking the whole thing. We're just about to go and have a look at Japan. So Japan is the cultural center of Epcot. And I have no idea what I'm talking about, but over here on my shoulder there, that's, uh, that's Molly and Tom and, uh, yeah, I would, yeah. and Harry. Don't cut that out. <laughs> Aladdin. Jazz, I don't think she's called Jazz. They look beautiful. So the cable cars out of Epcot are new. These weren't even being built the last time we were here, I don't think. As an after tea snack, which I didn't even film tea because I shared a tea with Tom. Yeah, I didn't really eat that much because I wasn't hungry, but now I'm kind of feeling this. But again, I'm sharing this with Tom and Harry. We're heading back into Epcot now to watch the Illuminations of Earth with my giant Mickey cookie. We are sat ready to watch World Showcase. I have my poncho on because it is pouring down. We've sat in a British pub because is there anything more English than sitting outside despite the fact that it's pouring down. We're sat right on the lake though. The view is going to be incredible for the fireworks. Harry's ready for the fireworks. Harry, pop your head out again. <laughs> on behalf of Walt Disney World, the place where so dreams come true. the park everyone's got ponchos on look at everyone it's actually kind of stopped raining now I can't really turn the camera around because of my poncho so this is the shot you're seeing we are back at the villa I'm gonna pick you up in the morning because I am shattered but I think tomorrow we're going to Hollywood Studios so I'm gonna vlog that in this vlog and I'll pick you up in the morning Please don't throw anything at me. There's loads of bugs in it! I'm swimming in dead flies. Jen, you're enjoying it, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it, I can't stand this, I don't oh, like okay, it. Okay, okay. Ah! You can't swim. Yeah, really. It's really embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is now Saturday. It is our first weekend here at Disney World and we are about to head out to Hollywood Studios. It is the only main park that we haven't yet been to. We have done all of the others now, um, apart from the water parks. In my head, I like don't count the water parks just because I'm not a huge fan. Purely just because I don't love swimming and I don't love water parks. But I mean, if you like swimming and you like water parks, Disney's are obviously like two of the best. So this is the outfit I have gone for today. We're heading to Hollywood Studios. I've just put on this little dress. It's from Pretty Little Thing. All of the clothing that you have seen me wear in the vlog so far and in the other vlog is always linked in the description. Head down below if you're interested in it. This is such a bargain and it's so easy to wear. I have it on with this bralette which might be a stupid move. Can you see the back of this? I'm gonna end up with a right dodgy tan line if I get a tan today. If you're interested, the bralette is from Gilly Hicks. I'll try and find a link to that as well, but yeah, let's go to Disney. I was gonna say Disney Springs, not Disney Springs, Hollywood Studios. This is the bag that I'm bringing with me today. This is a Disney Star Wars backpack. It's not very me, but Disney did kindly send me this out probably like last October and I've not had an opportunity to use it, but I figured Hollywood Studios with the new Star Wars land is probably the best place to wear this. Also, it's really convenient because it's huge, so it means I can bring my Polaroid camera in here as well, which I haven't been able to take out yet. We have arrived in Hollywood Studios and we are about to walk down Sunset Boulevard, which obviously is meant to be in LA, but not today. Today it's in Florida. Everyone ready? Let's meet it, greet it, and hit it! Don't pretend you don't like this film. Crossing the line. Shut up and drive. We are at Indiana Jones right now. You are in charge of all the just got out of Indiana Jones and now there's a little Star Wars acting thing going on. We're waiting for the boys to get off Star Tours. Hi! 
it's very loud. I again don't like that one because it's motion sickness. So we're just waiting for them to get off. Um, but we are sat at the Backcourt Express restaurant and I think we're maybe gonna get a little bit of lunch here. We're trying to find the Backcourt tour, but I think maybe that's not here. I went on it in Paris in October, but no sign of it being in this Hollywood studios anymore, which is really sad. Yeah, the last time we came it was, wasn't it? I feel like I have just well and truly cheated the system, right? I've got a kid's meal, but there's still so much food here. Like, this is a normal sized meal. If you went to like a street vendor in the UK, this would be one person's portion, not a kid's portion. I've also got chips and a little fruit bag with apple slices in for six dollars and a drink. Six dollars? I'm shook. Dad's about to hit a thousand Instagram followers. He's so excited. I'll leave his Instagram link below. He's just embarrassing on it, but if you ever want to follow an embarrassing dad. Can you get me to six thousand, please? Hello, Tom. A thousand. Hey! <laughs> oh, oh. That was that. <laughs> Harry doesn't use Instagram. All right, well, I'll leave. I'm going to leave all of your links in the description below for all of the Florida vlogs. Mum doesn't do Instagram. I don't do any vlogs. She doesn't do social media. I'm at 5760. So. Oh, you've got a long way to go then. I'm at 33. Nah. We are entering Toy Story Land. Here is a giant Woody, just to prove it. We're gonna try and get on. Well, we will get on because we've got the fast buses that are absolutely amazing. Slinky Dog Dash. How excited are you to go on Slinky Dinky Dash? Slinky Dinky Dash. Slinky Dinky Dash. <laughs> I'm gonna try and film this one. I've got my camera in my hand. We are about to board Slinky Dinky Dash. Also, guys, I know that it's not called that really. <laughs> Look at the fence, guys. Are we ready for the Slinky Dog Dash? Oh, it looks quite big and scary. <laughs> Why is it going backwards? It's gonna set off at high speed. <laughs> We are now in Toy Story Mania, which is very similar to Buzz Lightyear in Magic Kingdom. I am gonna win this time. I was awful at Buzz Lightyear. I'm just so bad at that ride, I literally can't do it. But it's gonna be better today. came out of the frozen sing-along, which is what we were just doing, if you couldn't tell what the snowy thing was. Um, I actually really, really love that show. Me and Mum did it by ourselves, because the boys have gone back onto Rock and Roller Coaster. So we're just waiting for them to come back off that now. My face is so shiny. This Florida heat and humidity does not do my face, my skin, or my hair any good at all like my eyelids are sticking to the top of my face i forgot to vlog this but i just got a i think it's called very berry hibiscus with lemonade it did look nicer when it was full but i think i preferred yesterday's yesterday i got strawberry acai with lemonade we are in the incredible land it's called an incredible celebration i've actually never seen this before but they've got loads of really cool stuff here that's like a bakery, a full incredible shop, which I think is sick. I would totally wear one of those t-shirts. We are leaving Hollywood Studios for today. Where are we heading now? Uh, I'm waiting for Tom. Disney Springs. Disney Springs. Disney Springs. Disney Springs. Disney Springs. Food and hopefully today we'll get to go in some shops. We actually went the other night we don't have another and uh, it torrentially <laughs> rained and we couldn't go in any shops on the way out. So I'm hoping tonight we get a little walk around Disney Springs as well, have a look in Sephora, Mac, and uh, of Mac. course the other shops like Mac. the ones Tom wants to go in. Where is Harry? We've lost, we've lost, we've lost the child. I always think Hollywood Studios looks best in an evening or on a night, but I just think that that is so stunning. Currently, oh, we are currently in what's it called? Paradiso 37. 
London in Disney Springs and I've just ordered, yeah, produce of the seven taste thing, Americas. Um, and I've just ordered a mocktail. Obviously, I'm too young to drink here, we're not 21 yet. At home, I'm having a cocktail. I'm not having a cocktail. So, I've ordered a mocktail called Elsa's Sunrise and it's like pineapple and orange juice. It tastes like a cross between a pina colada and a set of the And they're like glassy of cherries. <laughs> this is so good, guys. We have got nachos to share. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We've just finished up in Paradiso 37. Did you enjoy your food, Mum? Amazing food. Such good food. And the waitress in there was lovely. What was her name, Mum? Brenda. Brenda from Paradiso 37. We are heading back round. We were in that restaurant for quite a while because it was like like slow service, but like good slow service. Not like it took ages, oh, as in like they proper took care of you and like kept coming back and stuff. So we're just walking across the bridge. I actually always forget how big Disney Springs is. It's actually massive. Oh my God, is it meant to be like tangled? All of the lanterns on the, on the sea. Okay guys, my makeup is fully like off, but I'm gonna end this vlog here. This is Disney vlog number two, I think, but Florida vlog number three. I just did four, didn't I? There will be more vlogs. I think there's gonna be about four more. I'm also super sorry about the echo. I'm actually in the toilet right now. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, give it a huge thumbs up. I have really, really enjoyed filming this for you guys. I've enjoyed showing you Epcot, showing you Hollywood Studios. I will be back the day after tomorrow with another Disney vlog. I hope you're enjoying them so far. Subscribe down below if you are new and if you are enjoying them and you want to see more. And I shall be back very, very soon. Bye! I just got another Mickey themed snack. These prices are crazy. This is where I'm moving to.